A little over 10 years ago, I began my journey of trying to rap and write rhymes. Since then, I've lost count of the amount of hours I clocked in, honing and perfecting my craft. As I got older and gained more responsibilities, I realized this hobby was unsustainable because it wasn't creating any means to provide for myself. I put my love for music and creating it on the back burner while taking care of more pressing matters in life. I always said I'd get back to it, but time has a way of getting away from you. Now, knowing that little backstory about me, how do you think I felt when I heard Ice Spice rap the lyrics? Think you the sh- You not even a fart. I was unresponsive for a second. Not because I was jealous or felt it should have been me in her position. It should have been me, not him! I'm positive she put in the work and slash or has a really good team and support system. I was speechless because I immediately thought about all the work I put in that got nowhere. I felt as though I wasted my time. I was angry with myself for not moving correctly or at least in a different way to get better results. For any viewer that thinks I sound bitter, I promise I'm not. I just thought that bar was terrible and I'm sure she was joking. But she has quite a few lines like that and how much she defecates for some reason. I made a compilation short about that that'll be linked in the description if you want a quick laugh. Anyways, once I snapped out of my self-analysis, I began researching, looking over I Spice's early bodies of work, and she definitely was working. I can tell by some of the stuff she says and how much she repeats herself that she writes her own lyrics. And judging by how consistent she was, she earned it. I was consistent at one point, but as I mentioned earlier, I had to weigh my options and chose to give up. That was my choice and I made my peace with it. I noticed something about Ice Spice as I watched more of her visuals. The way she looked, her hairstyle specifically caught my attention. Yeah, I know she twerks in her videos and all that, but the bright orange afro in particular started to make me wonder, who did she remind me of? When I was younger and used to stay up watching anime, we had a big three in my time. Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach. But Bleach specifically snatched my attention for a few reasons. The character designs, atmosphere, and personality of its protagonist. I'm aware what I'm about to say may sound like a huge reach, but I'm of the belief that Ichigo and Ice Spice share similar strengths, at least when it comes to the consumption of their particular media. I clicked on Ice Spice's video because of the bright orange afro. I've never seen anything like that. Similarly, for Ichigo, his orange hair and oversized zanpak toe entice me to watch. When it comes to Bleach, I don't think it's a stretch to say they have some phenomenal character designs, for the most part. And based off how Twitter slash X users react to selfies of Isis, I think the same could be said about her. People are infatuated with her overall aesthetic. Not saying that's the only reason people listen to her, or if that's a bad thing, just that, at least from what I've seen, her looks are center stage. And that leads perfectly into my next talking point, the female rap vortex. Before I get into this though, I have to mention that the people who comment on my videos and polls helped me with this talking point. I got input from men and women, but if you feel like I said something wrong or you disagree with it, let me know in the comments. In the wise words of Rhapsody, there is no female hip hop. It's just hip hop, loved ones. I agree, this statement is true, but there are female rap artists and they often go down a path of being sexualized, but this is far from being a new concept. A subscriber of mine who goes by Zeta Finite pointed out how labels actively encourage this. They care not what their artist has to say, male or female, as long as they're selling records, makeup, and whatever other brand deals they have bundled in with said artists. It's gotten to a point as to where a lot of new women artists emulate this as well, even without a team or label overseeing them, they often are pulled into this vacuum of being promiscuous to get noticed. After seeing quite a few people hate on women artists, I made a poll and as of the publishing of this video, 31% said they felt like a lot of the mainstream girls were basically influencers. Another 53% said they felt like very few could actually rap well. I'm aware these stats are relative to my specific community, but I'll just run with it for the sake of this video. Male rappers have definitely been sexualized in the industry as well, a la LL Cool J, but I think we can agree that it's clearly more prevalent in the female space than it is in the males by a huge margin. But I get it, more people than ever are making music. The days of being talented to be successful are over. 
It's more so about who can farm the most engagement and what better way to get clicks than being attractive. As I was doing research for this video, I stumbled across the nominees for BET's 2024 Best Female Hip Hop Artist. Now, by and large, I believe Doja Cat, Ice Spice, Glorilla, Nicki Minaj, and the other women present make vastly different types of music from each other. But if you watch their music videos, you'll see glaring parallels between all of them. Are there women rappers who don't have this type of stuff going on? 100%, but none of them are nominated because simply rapping well doesn't gain you mainstream acclaim, hence the point of this video. But anywho, I started writing my thoughts down upon hearing some of Ice Spice's music. I had to get to the bottom of this, or at least try to make some sense of it for myself, which is where the community involvement came in. I promise, when I was recording this, I was hoping I didn't sound like an incel or some dude who was hating on women artists who show off their body. That's what you like, that's what you like. Don't let me stop you from supporting your thing. This video also isn't a takedown of women artists who take the route of promiscuity. I was simply pointing out that it happens and how a great deal of the most successful female artists are sucked into that vortex. But yeah. If you feel like I'm hating, I got some things wrong, could have fleshed certain aspects of this video essay out more, let me know in the comments. Anyways, Sandlord, I'm out of here.